Greetings and welcome to Black Moth Wukong. In this video we're going to cover the achievement Nifty Nonsense. To unlock this achievement you have to defeat the final boss of chapter 3, Yellowbrow. By defeating him, you receive 4330 experience, 2276 will, 3 cold iron leaves, 2 fine gold threads, 2 refined iron sand, 1 mind core, 1 cosmo radiance weapon crafting material, and 1 gold tree core upgrade material. We start with an immobilize and a light attack combo to inflict some damage and charge our focus. Dodge the slam and the shockwave that emits from the maze afterwards. Evade the lightning projectiles on the floor and re-engage. When he teleports away, turn your camera and walk towards him again. Execute your spirit skill and start hitting him. Be sure to dodge in the right moment, his attacks have a lot of wind up. Always stay topped on health and execute some combos until your focus points are filled, then execute a heavy attack. Hit him with another mobilize and build up more focus. Attack him and around 35% of remaining HP he will teleport away. He will now charge a heavy AoE attack with a long charging time. Go far away from him and watch him closely. Roll the slam on the floor and then roll again to dodge the static field or use the rock solid spell to evade the attack. Now execute another spirit skill and keep attacking him to build up more focus. Dodge the stomp attacks at any cost or he will hit you with a strong grab attack. Now immobilize him again and start chipping away on his health bar. Execute another heavy attack and he will transition to phase 2 aka the last Macaque Chief boss fight. Dodge the ranged projectiles then go in for a full light combo. After executing the combo immobilize him and attack him to fill your focus. Perfect dodge his attacks and execute a heavy attack when you have some space. Transform immediately after and start hammering away at him. He staggers and flinches fairly easy, so try to get the most out of the transformation window. After the transformation wore off, execute your spirit spell and make sure you are topped on health. Use the wind tamer vessel to knock him off balance and create a window for another combo. Make sure to dodge his combos and stay topped on HP. As soon as immobilize is off cooldown, use it and attack the boss to build up more focus. Execute a heavy attack, but make sure it doesn't miss him. Now play the fight safely and dodge his combos. Spend your focus on heavy attacks as often as you can.
After defeating the boss you will be playing an intermediate phase where you gain a temporal transformation. Follow the way ahead to reach the final phase of the fight. Initiate the fight with a light hit combo. When he transforms into gold, a fully charged heavy attack or a strong spirit spell can knock him out of the form immediately. Now use his staggered state for a combo and a heavy attack. Around the 80% HP mark he will initiate a scripted event and you will not receive damage after the cutscene. After the cutscene ends, dodge his attack and hit him a few times. If you are trapped in the lightning circle, use rock solid or dodges to evade projectiles. Now start damaging him, but be aware of his low combos, they hit very hard. Always stay top on health and do not use a heavy attack, keep the focus for now. When he teleports away, attack him with a combo and when he turns golden, spend all to save focus to execute a heavy attack and knock him out of the form. Keep attacking him with some combos until he staggers. When he uses the strong overhead slam, dodge sideways. Right after, execute a heavy attack and around the 30% HP mark another scripted event will take place. After the cutscene, prepare to dodge a similar spell to the big AoE from phase 1. Heal up and dodge it or use rock solid to evade it. Use the wind tamer vessel to make him stumble and then engage with a light hit combo. You can attempt to immobilize him here, but you should keep it, because he will turn golden one more time. Use your spirit spell to knock him out of the form again and then start bashing him to charge your focus. Execute a fully charged heavy attack and transform afterwards to finish the fight safely. And that's it for the achievement. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.